We have uh, Marco from Penta, originally founder of Solaris Bank and Handelsbank, actually. Interesting. So a true serial fintech entrepreneur, probably one of the most important ones in Germany. <laughs> very happy I to have so. you. Thank you very much, Marco. Um, I know that I'm standing in exactly in the way of your lunch. This is, uh, I, I love those, uh, those, those times when you actually have to make sure that you walk through, that you keep the people a little bit entertained, because this is uh, either the people have already eaten or they will, uh, eat, it, they will eat soon. And uh, either way, it's, uh, it's not, the fast, uh, not the easiest thing. But what do I want to talk about? I don't want to tell you um, too much about Penta, what we do. What I want to tell you is how we do things and why we do things. And I think it makes sense to start by saying goodbye. Goodbye to Deutsche, goodbye to Commerz, goodbye to Sparkasse, and goodbye to Volksbank. Why do we say that? Because banks, especially in the business banking, uh, in the business banking sector, over the past years have neglected the small and medium-sized companies way too, far, way too much. When you want to build a new company, you need a bank account. You need, to bank, uh, you need to have your first banking service in order to start your business. When you're an existing company, you need to make sure that all your needs are fulfilled around the payments, around the, the cards, around the lending, etc. And whilst everybody looks at the, the enterprises, nobody looks at the small companies, five to 50 employees. But that is 95% of the market. And that's why we thought, Let's look at this. We don't change the business the way business banking should be in order to make our investors happy. Nor do we change things to make me happy. And we don't change things just now because it's fun to do things. What we have seen is you actually have to talk to the customer and you don't just have to take the sample size of one which very often happens in product management. You have to go out, you have to see what is the job to be done for your customer, what is the customer's need. And this is not just a, a phrase, a, a, a management budget. You have to go out there, you have to start asking the customer what is what you want to achieve when you do, uh, when you do your things. And that is the way how you should go back in order to help them, right? You want to support your customers in a way that they can actually concentrate on their business. You want to make sure that they have 100% attention from you in order that they have enough time to concentrate on their business. And that's why we look at these uh, customers, we look at our companies in a way we don't have at the moment an industry-specific approach. What we do have is an approach to make sure that we take away the pain of banking from them. That is, especially in Germany, very, very important to, to, uh, to look at what is the things which you have to do besides the traditional banking. And what I've just shown there was cards, was payments, was international payments. That's things which everybody else in the market offers as well. But you have to look beyond that. Now, how do you do that? Here we come to the point, and that's why I said, okay, I want to talk a little about a little bit what is the secret sauce, what is how you do things rather than what you do. We call it the penta craziness. That might, call, might sound a little bit cheesy, probably it is, but whilst others work on visions, missions, values, we thought, let's drill it down, let's bring it down to one single point, and that's the craziness. But what are we crazy about? It is extremely important that you do things with enthusiasm, not just because it's a job, not just because there's somebody who wants to do it. You have to be crazy about something, and what we are crazy about is to save time, hassle, and money for our customers so that they really can, can look and do their job. They don't want to hassle. They don't want, they don't want to, to deal with a bank. They don't want to go to a branch. They don't want to print out paper, send it over to a place where this paper most probably will be scanned and the paper will be thrown away. Keep things digital, which are already digital. And in today's world, everything is digital already. So keep it that way. 
what is it how we do this? Because we think we have to care. And, and I might say that um, because I'm in Penta, but it's part of my family. My family and the family of everybody else working in Penta. We are 85 people now, and we have a very, very strong commitment to each other. We care for each other as do we care for our customers. Of course, we screw up as everybody else does. Uh, the only question is how do you deal with those things? Care for the things. And obviously, uh, and this is a London conference, so one thing cannot be missed out, get shit done. Don't talk about it, get it done. And um, I've seen it a number of times now, when you start a company, it's, it's very easy coming into a stage where the company becomes more corporate. The faster you grow, the bigger you get, there will be processes, there will be things, there will be a certain politics. And that's one thing what we have sworn ourselves at Penta, to not let that happen. We want to stay crazy. So, just the three things what we do, business banking, we do cards, team cards, to so give um, your customers as, uh, as many cards as they want, as they need in order to make their business. And, and that is what we say beyond banking, it's the company management. Why? Because take care of the things which your, what your customers are staying awake at night for. Uh, they don't need just the account, but they need things, especially when they're small companies. They need to, to uh, think about their technology. They need to think about the online marketing. They need to think about the legal parts. Give them help. And that's exactly what we think. With our partners, we can offer a lot of services to our small companies. Um, just to give you a couple of um, just data who we are, so we're not just, we're not just having... Uh, 300 customers or something like that. We have 11,500 customers by now. They're all businesses. So that sets us apart a little bit from a couple of other challenger banks in the, in the European space, which are looking more at the freelancer space, the, the sole trader space. We are really looking after companies. Um, at the moment, we are growing at a rate of 1,300 per month. And this is, um, I guess, a, a quite a a good number when you look at what you have to do in Germany for getting a customer life. We ha don't have this, unfortunately, we don't have um, this, the, the level of detail and the level of digital services which you would have here in the UK. So the entire part of getting customers on board faster, companies do the KYC for the employees, do the, employ uh, do the KYC for the company itself, really, really important. And we have really brought this down to a usually day in, day out process. Some take a little bit longer, but very often within the same day you have your account open. Um, we just launched in Italy. So as a first country where we want to expand our services to, uh, we chose Italy. Um, and we will see how this goes. We are very, very bullish about it. The Italian market needs some upshake in terms of banking, in terms of business banking, in terms of uh, team management. And we are quite happy that, that within a couple of weeks, we basically could start the Italian Alpha launch. And, and uh, I don't know whether you've seen it, there's Zenloop sitting upstairs. Zenloop is a, is a company, I know the, the founders very, very well. They, they take care of actually making sure that you measure your customer satisfaction. And everybody should or must do that. Engage with your customers, ask them what they think about you, ask them what you should be doing better and ask them to rate you. And our NPS at the moment is at 62, which we think is absolutely mind-blowing. And just to finalize this, um, we took this, our campaign is, is now live. Uh, we have started in Berlin in a couple of um, subway stations, and we're taking this um, Germany-wide now, and um, it will appear in newspapers, in some magazines, etc. Thank you very much.